वेलकम टू टॉप एजुकेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न चैप्टर थ्री मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी ऑफ क्यू ए बेरी फर्स्ट विल नो सम जनरल टर्म्स एंड देन लेट्स मूव टू दम्स एंड सम एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑल्सो सो अर्थमेटिक मीन इज डिनोटेड बाय एक्स बार मीडियन एम मोड जेड जोमेट्रिक मीन जी हॉर्मोनिक मीन हेच this are very important let's move to arithmetic mean first which is known as x bar it measures it is measure of central tendency it is a measure of central tendency means from 10 to 20 what we have in this center that is known as central tendency so measure of central tendency it is also known as mean or average it is also known as mean or average it is denoted by x bar and it is also denoted by x bar now let's learn computation of arithmetic mean how we will do this arithmetic mean there are three stages like in case of raw data discrete series and continuous series so first we'll go to in case of raw data and all here we have some three formulas to solve this sum first when there is raw data and second where we have a full like x and frequency like class interval also and frequency also so this is used when class interval and frequency we have and this is used when we don't have class interval and frequency and we have just raw data with us shortcut method and step deviation method so this is known as direct method these two are directly finding directly is known as direct method shortcut method here what we will do sigma this is formulas we have to note it down okay this all are formulas which are very important so x bar is equal to a plus sigma fd divided by n and this is for shortcut method and step deviation method here x bar is equal to a plus sigma fd dash divided by n into c so this are few formulas to be remembered you just by heart of it it will be best a two sum where we have only raw data and here we have class interval and frequency first let's do this so here what we have to do is formula sigma x is equal to x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n so here we have to do 10 plus 12 plus 18 plus 14 plus 30 plus divided by how much we have number 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so six. and our answer will be so answer we have is 1 19 divided by 6 is equal to we'll get 19.8 so here how we did is they have given us raw data so we have to plus it out and we'll get this and this 6 how it comes means 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 so we will do divide and all and we'll get this answer so this is done now we'll do full fledged sum where we will use this three formulas one here 1 2 3 let's do it quickly now we have done this fx now how we will get this fx let's see so f into x 13 into 19 or 19 into 13 into you will get this answer so just you have to do here is multiplication 19 into 3 247 okay so all here they have done into only and total is fx so this is our total and guys here i have formula so first if you by heart formula then it will be very easy to do this all problems see here in formula only we have to find fx so fx so f into f into x so you will get answer total it up 
so fx you have got 2650 divided by this n how you will get this n means 13 plus 15 15 plus 16 like plus it out you will get 106 so n is equal to 106 and fx is equal to 2650 clear now here how much we will get answer is 25 okay so this 25 we have to get for this 3 also those two sums also those two formulas also like now this we have done now we will continue with this two so next formula we have is x bar is equal to a plus sigma x d dash n so this is formula so here we have done d is equal to x minus a so we have to find f d so first we should find d so here d how we will find is x minus a see here x minus a so x and minus a is 25 take midpoint or take any one point answer you will get same only the same answer you will receive for everything like 25 minus 19 25 minus 21 25 minus 23 you will get this answer and here 25 minus 27 so answer now how to find this fd is f into d 13 into minus 6 minus 78 15 into minus 4 is equal to minus 60 so this you will get answer total it up you will get 0 okay but in other sums you may not get 0 because this sum has 0 so don't think you will you have to get only 0 for it so now we'll simplify it a a is 25 this midpoint let it be anything your choice take from this line only from x and then plus fd what we have got fd here is nothing so 0 divided by 106 okay so here what happens guys you have to this uh, summarize from this side means right side not from left side from right side you have to do so right side you will do like what you will get here c so 0 first 0 divided by 106 is equal to 0 so here you have plus 25 so plus 25 and you will get answer as this 25 so have next formula that is sigma x bar is equal to a plus sigma fd dash divided by n into c so here we have to find what d dash and fd dash so how we'll find let's see I found this d divided d dash div how to find this d dash means d divided by c here c you may take how it is divisible so 6 3 6 2 3 is a 6 so 2 we have taken as divisible number so 6 divided by okay 2 and 1 so we have got this answer now fd dash again we have to do fd dash d dash we have done the that is fine fd dash we have to do so fd dash how we'll do is f into d dash this f into <coughs> minus 3 you will get minus 39 15 into minus 2 you will get 30 and this all answer and if you do this calculation see minus 39 minus 30 minus 16 plus 0 plus 16 plus 30 plus 39 you will get answer as 0 let's do here so a a we have taken here is 25 so 25 plus what is this fd dash here fd dash is 0 so 0 divided by n n was 106 and into we have c 
so c here is this 2 we have divided it no so this 2 we have to take here so we will get directly our answer is 25 how we will get this answer c here 0 divided wait 0 divided by 106 into 2 plus 25 so you will get 25 only so guys how you will do first middle or first this one then you have to add this first you have to do this then multiply this and then add this so you will get 25 so 25 25 25 this sum is correct and next we'll do mean median mode also mode and median okay so let's move 